Hey guys, it's Thomas here with TechnoVision and welcome back to our JDA tutorial series. Now in this episode, we are gonna be talking about gateway intents, which like I mentioned in the last episode, are privileges that we need to request from Discord in order to access certain events for our bots. So if you remember last time in the last episode in our event listener class here, we had a event that we added just to test out called on guild member join, which uh, we knew was not gonna work because it required a gateway intent. So we're gonna talk about how we can enable this intent now. So to enable an intent, what you wanna do is go to your Discord developer uh, portal or dashboard, which will be in the description of this video as well. It will take you to uh, to this page here and you can click on your application, of course. In my case, it's JDA tutorial. And then you can go to your bot page over on the left. So this is the page where your bot is. And you might remember from that first episode when we set this up, that there was this little section here called privileged gateway intents. And this is pretty much the three intents that you can enable. And uh, it says here, note, once your bot reaches 100 or more servers, this will require verification and approval. So right now you guys can enable all three of these uh, intents to use just fine. But once your bot reaches 100 or more servers, you will actually have to prove to Discord why you need access to this intent. And it has to be a valid reason, of course. But don't worry about that right now. You can worry about that when your bot takes off and becomes much more popular. For right now, we're just trying to learn so we can enable these as needed. But uh, yeah, so each of these intents basically allows you to have access to a certain uh, type of event or piece of data. So this is the presence intents. This one is required for your bot to receive presence update events. So this uh, intent is gonna allow us to receive events like user update online status. So anytime a user updates anything about themselves like an avatar or their name, for example, or maybe their online status or their activity status. Those are all gonna be presences, a user presence on a server, and that's gonna update through this intent. Uh, so we need this intent in order to access those events. Then we have the server members intent. This is required for your bot to receive events listed under guild members. So if we go back to our JDA here, this is the most important one in my opinion, the one that pretty much everyone is probably gonna use at some point. Uh, anything that has the word guild member in it or member is going to require this uh, intent to work. So remember we have here on guild member join. So whenever a guild member joins, this uh, is gonna fire. But uh, we need, because it's a guild member event, we need uh, this server member's intent in order to access it. So that's the second one. And then the third one, which is a relatively new intent, is the message content intent. And this will be required for your bot to receive message content in messages. Now you can see here that this intent is actually not being enforced right now, but it will be after August 31st, 2022. So pretty soon within a couple months, you will not be able to access any message content from an event or anything, any user uh, message, unless you have this intent activated. So that means again, that this uh, event here, this on message received event that we created in the last episode, this will actually not work uh, in the future until you have that intent. So yeah, very important to keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and enable one of these uh, intents. So let's do the guild member intent since we have that already set up here. So we want uh, to go to the dashboard here and just, we can click on server members intents for guild members, you can just hit uh, the uh, little switch here and save changes and super easy. We've enabled the intent, but we need to register it in our actual code as well. So to do that, you wanna go to your tutorial bot, sort of main bot uh, class here, scroll down and where we have our shard builder, or if you're using the JDA builder, same thing, you're gonna take your builder and you're going to um, dot enable intents. And this will allow you to set an intent or several intents. So in this case, we are trying to enable, if you remember the, uh, the server members intent, but in JDA, the names are a little bit different sometimes. So uh, if we search gateway intents, gateway intent dots, we can select one and it's gonna be for the server members intent, it's gonna be guild underscore members. There we go, so the guild underscore members intents. Uh, and you can kind of remember this by thinking members, uh, server members. So that's all you really need to remember is members. And yeah, so now if we add a semicolon here, we've actually registered this intent to our bots. So now if we go back to our event here, uh, the way this event is working right now is um, 
we're just getting the avatar of a user who joins our server and then we are printing it out to the console just to test if it's working. So let's go test it out right now. All right, so I've run the bot and you can see there's just me and the bot in there right now on our server, but I'm gonna add uh, a bot called me6. So I'm just gonna add a user to our server. I'm authorizing it right now on my phone and it should pop up any second now. Um, there we go. So me6 has been added to our server and you can see that it did actually work. So in our, our console, we did get access to the string here, the avatar URL. If we click on it, we have the uh, me6 avatar URL. So it's working perfectly. And um, yeah, so if you didn't have this intent active, then this actually would not fire at all. Nothing would happen from this code. Now in the future, if you wanted to enable the intent to allow for on message received, because again, this will require an intent starting August, 2022, uh, what you can do again, same sort of steps, go back to this uh, Discord developer portal here, go to um, the message content intent here and uh, hit enable, save changes. And you can go to your tutorial bots, sort of main bot class, and we can just add another intent here. So right next to guild members, we can add a comma and then gateway intent. And this time it's going to be, uh, let's just search messages. Yeah, so guild underscore messages. Again, it's a different name than the actual intent on the dashboard, but they have relatively similar names, so it shouldn't be too hard to, to find out. But yeah, so again, this isn't enforced right now, but it's important to keep this in mind because in just a few months, we will need to do this in order to use this actual event here. And now finally, I wanna show you an example of how to use this sort of presence intent here. So let's go, uh, and I'll actually show you an example of it failing too, just so you can actually believe me that these are important to use. Um, so let's override a new method in our event listener um, class here. And we're gonna override a method called on user update online status. So this is another event, of course, and this event throws or gets thrown to us every time a user updates their status online. So if we go to Discord, a status over here in the bottom left corner here, uh, if you'd like update it to do not disturb, for example, or switch to online, that would be updating an online status. So uh, what I wanna do is just print a message to a guild default channel saying, hey, this user updated their status, right? Pretty simple. So let's get that user object. So user user is equal to events.getUser. And remember, this is gonna get the user that fired this event. So the user that changed their status. And then we wanna create a string message to respond with. And we're just gonna say, uh, let's get the user dot get as tag. And let's actually make this bold in Discord. And if you don't know how to do that, you just add two stars next to some text on either side. So we're gonna make their user tag bold and we're just gonna say like Technovision uh, updated their online status. And then we're gonna send this to the events.getGuild.getDefaultChannel. Send message and throw that message in there. And remember this is an action, so we have to queue it up just like all rest actions. Yeah, cool, so um, let's see if this actually works. So if we run our bot now, and we actually go to our Discord here, and uh, let's change my online status to uh, idle, for example. No message, right? Online, do not disturb, nothing's happening. And this is because we don't have the, uh, the presence intent. So what we can do is go to our Discord dashboard, and we can enable the presence intent here, right? save changes just like we're used to. And then of course we have to go to the bot class uh, and add another gateway intent. So comma, gateway intent dot. And then this time it is guild presences. That's the one that we're adding. So this is great, right? You would expect this to work perfectly. We have the intent. We've registered it on the actual uh, dashboard here, the portal. And our event is actually working like, you know, in the code. So when we run it, you might be shocked to find out that when we change our status to do not disturb, nothing's gonna happen. It's still not firing, or if it does fire, it's not working the way we want to. And the reason for this is that some events don't just require a uh, intent, but they also require additional flags as well. So for example, this uh, particular event requires a cache. It needs a cache of the users that are using the bot at this current moment. And we're gonna talk about that in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. But just know that if some of these events don't work, even if you have the gateway intent, it's because you may be missing some additional flags that we may need in the future.
Now, if you're ever unsure what gateway intent you need in order to do something for your Discord bot, you can come to the second link in the description of this video, and it will take you to this great resource called the Discord Intents Calculator that I found. All, all uh, credit goes to this dude right here, but essentially what this does is it allows you to select certain intents, like for example, uh, the guild webhooks intent or guild messages or even like the presence intent that we talked about earlier and it will tell you what sort of events you have access to on the right hand side so a really useful resource for uh, whenever you're developing i should also mention that even though those are the only three uh, intents that are on the actual dashboard itself there are lots of other intents that you can add here you could add a gateway intent gateway intent dot and you can see there's a lot of other ones here, intents for bands, emojis, invites, webhooks. So play around with that resource I showed you in the description and see what works, see what you need for your bots and what you don't. And yeah, that's gonna do it for Gateway Intents. Thanks guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we are gonna tackle this problem I mentioned here. How do we get this uh, event to work and how do we cache users so that we can actually get their information?